Welcome back folks, this is lesson number 17, I think, <laughs> I'm losing track of the numbers, but uh, this is uh, a place I want to paint with you, this is a castle, and the castle is Bamborough Castle, and Bamborough Castle is in Northumberland, and it's on the coast quite, in fact, opposite the Holy Island with Lindisfarne. So if you're, or if you're on Holy Island and turn you round to face the shore, that's what you'll see. There's the castle there, there's the cliffs and stuff like that there, and around here, a bit of village there, some rocks from standing on here, and here's water in the foreground. And this is banks here with grass on the top. So let, let's get started. There's our colours on screen which it was we've used lots and lots of times before so i can move those now and then you can do your sketch can't you okay let's get started this is first of all it'll be a nice day i think and i think the light's coming from the left and this is uh, clean water this and i'm going to randomly put it on the sky not all over just randomly so we get hard edges and soft edges which is which is nice, and I want to use a, a touch more alizarin crimson into this one, into the sky, give you a different effect. Shall we go with this? So that's the that's the uh, water. Uh, I'm going to dip in the raw sienna or ochre, whichever you like to be using. And put a bit of sunshine in there. That's enough. And then I'm going to put in some the ultramarine blue. It's a lovely blue. This. It's a, it's a gorgeous day, so don't don't let spoil it. Touch more of that in. You can leave some white white spaces on the on the sky there, which will be clouds, won't they? So all we're doing is is, is going to we're, we're going to paint around these white spots and create our own clouds. So you're creating the shape. So whatever shape you leave is that's the cloud. All right. Mind the castle. Right. Just took that up there a bit there. Now I'm trying to introduce that alizarin crimson into the bottom, the, the, the weak colour I've got there. Let's, let's introduce, I like that colour. I thought we'd introduce a touch more of this on this, this particular painting. Around the castle there. Took it under the, under the clouds there. Light from the left, don't forget. And I'm going to put some of this pinky stuff in the sky. You get some nice effects with this, this pink, pinkiness in the sky, like a like a pinky effect in the in the cloud formations. A bit different from last time, but using the same colours, you see, and you get an entirely different look, which is amazing. With the few colours we're using, you can control it better. Right here we go. Let's get it down to the horizon level there. Around the top of the castle. Be careful there. This big brush has got a lovely point on it. Yeah, it's a, what number is it? It's a, I don't know, it's worn off. It's, it's a, I think it's a 20. But it certainly helps me. So there's the, and again, they're going, they're dropping in wells, the, the colour there, so I'm going to sort of start and suck some of that up sometime. But let's, let's put some of these, these clouds back in here, and the, the light from the left, don't forget. I get a touch of, touch of colour into this, and introduce these pinkiness into the sky, like a, you get a pink glow in the sky, that's a lovely colour that there. 
press a little bit too strong. We'll take it out. But it's just a demonstration I want to give you on different use of the, the colours. A spot up there. Touch more colour up here in the sky. As it's drying up, it's, and the, 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 the alizarin crimson or the pinky colour is starting to have more evidence. And it's like I've put it on the shadow side. So it's like a shadowy pinky colour, which is, which is quite pleasant. And then just when you thought it was such a lovely day, I want to put one or two threatening clouds in this because it's too nice. A threatening cloud up your eyes. <clears throat> There's always somebody who wants to rain on your parade, isn't there? Well, this is it. And it's nice if, uh, if you, when you're using a, a big brush, like I said, a big round brush, you can sometimes use it to feather it in like that, see, the cloud. You get some interesting effects by doing, doing that effect. Bring it down there. I can nearly take that colour down to the horizon. I promise you a nice day, but it looks like it's changed. You can never tell with the forecast, can you? A touch up here like this. Close that corner down a little bit. Right, let's have a look what we've got. I just want to take some of this wetness out of the bottom here. It's all gathered in a, because I work at 15 degrees, it, it, it runs down, which I want it to do. I don't want it to sort of cause wells halfway up the sky or cause me problems, that will. So I'm so pleased it's coming down to the bottom there. And we, we're linking this sky into this, this horizon there. some light around here. So it's it's a, quite an interesting sky this one. It's it's different to what you what you've had before. Spend a bit of time on the skies, it, it, it'll help because, let, let's face it, this, the sky is about three quarters of your painting, isn't it? So if you can make a good job of that, you can only go wrong on a quarter of it, can't you? Well, that's my theory anyway. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm, I'm fiddling now, so stop, stop, stop fiddling. Get that moving forward. And the colour I'm using, of course, is the, is the Rossi and Ro Ochre. Which is which is a lovely colour. This is the undercoat, if you like, which was a sculpture with darks, dark later. But let's get this in first and this is just taking the whiteness off it.
I say, if you haven't been to this area, it, 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 it's a gorgeous part of the country. And uh, the castle is beautiful to go around. I think it's National Trust. And uh, it, it, it's just, a, you can spend a, a week there easily, looking at this place, this and then just further down the coast from here is a place called uh, Sea Houses, which is a, was a busy, busy fishing, fishing port uh, some time ago. And then there's a place called Craster. You've probably heard of Craster Kippers, that's where they came from, very famous for it. But, but the, 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 just the coastal scenery is superb. The, uh, but inland, it's, 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 it's a gorgeous county, it just is, it's beautiful. I know when we, we lived up uh, in, in Newcastle, the, we used to come up the coast here yeah, with, the, with, the, with the kids and, uh, and I went to one, one particular beach up here, which is just further down the coast and the, the beaches are absolutely stunning there. And it was called uh, Long Holt, Long Holton Beach. And it was just like a like a Caribbean beach. It was, it was superb, nearly white. And uh, the day we picked was uh, was not the hottest day of the year. And it was a gorgeous day, but freezing. But a lovely spot. In fact, because it was freezing, there wasn't many people there, so we had the beach to ourselves. It was lovely. Been there many times since, and. Uh, on a nice day and, and, and really enjoyed it. So there's our, our, our sort of our Bamborough Castle done. And of course there's, there's a sort of, a, it's, it's built on rock, so I'll put some rock in just here, just to start it off. Get rid of some of this white. You know how I feel about white, just leaving it white, it's, it, it, it throws the colours it does. It's sort of a, a, a prominent prominent area of, of rock and there's, 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 there's grass on the top there and, and, and we'll, we'll just put this down here this comes down to the water's edge Keep it going. So it's it's, it's a, the, the the undercoat, if you like, and we're, we're putting that in. In fact, I think what I'll do that that's a, a green hill there, the green hill there. But this is this is like uh, sand, or, or the the beach that that comes away, and there's grass on the top. So we'll put this in as well. We're getting rid of this white nicely now. And of course the rock I'm standing on is at, uh, on, on Holy Island. So we've got to put some, some shape into this as well. As I say, don't worry about it, it's all looking the same colour because we're going to sculpt it with darks. That's all right for now, but on some of these rocks, I think this, this, this burnt umber that we're using in the sky, I'm going to use some of that just to to give this here, these rocks, a bit of a shape down here and, and take them down here like this. dark in this corner here, this, I've picked that, that, this colour, this, this, that's a, I've got some left so I'm going to use it there. And that, that will also bring it forward, won't it? So it'll, it's brought it towards me. And then this rock I'm standing on, I think we'll have a bit of, a bit of sculpting on that one there. It might be a bit wet, yeah, that, so uh, I'm not sure, but we'll see. To 
bit of dark blue in there. Get it really dark, this will bring it towards me. I shouldn't get bogged down like this to start with, I'll get it flattered in first. But that, that is, you see with the colour I've got there, it's, it's, it's closer to us so it's stronger in value. Right, now we'll wait for the cattle to dry. I think what I've got to do is take out some of that, uh, I'll put some of these greens in, I'll take, move that brown off my palette there and give myself a clean area. So I'll look, see if I can find one. This one here will do. And I think we'll have some uh, cadmium yellow. That's that one there. And then that deep Windsor blue there, it's beautiful. That'll give you a nice, a nice green. As I say, I have, to, I have to mix every green because I don't have a green on the palette. And the beauty of that is my greens all look fresh because they're, they're, mi they're mixed as I use them, which, which is nice. Let's put some down here. This is, this is some grass down here. Put it down. Take it along there with this. You can walk around there. Around here. This is grass down here. It doesn't look flat, this bit is. That gives you sort of a an undercoat. Of course, the grass sometimes tumbles down here as well. So we've got that. that we'll put, I want to put some darks into there as well. Let's darken, darken some of that areas off. Perhaps uh, some look at what we've got. shaping some of them hills a bit because the light from the left don't forget I'll pull some of that down here and of course there's, a, there's a, a quite a big hill here so we'll put that one in Nice, it just separates that that prominent piece in the foreground here. Mind the building, there's one or two of the tiny buildings there. We'll put that in there. And then the piece behind it there, there's a small hill there. So I've got to put that in, it, 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 it's, it's in the distance, so I want to keep it in the distance. And I'm going to paint it with this colour up, add, add in the sky there. Let's see what that colour is, that's it. So I don't, I lose the, the, I'm creating depth, if you like, by creating it with a, a distant blue. So that, that puts it behind this hill and all that. Right, and I've tried to avoid using the hair dryer a bit. Let's put a bit more green around the back of this house here. And this is this is grass on the top of here, so I better put put a bit more, mix a bit more colour on that because it's, it's it's closer to us. Let's have a dip in there and let's see what colour we've got. Let's have a test on there. Uh, 
do the, it, it tumbles over, you know, the, 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 the bank crumbles away and leaves the grass on the top, doesn't it? It, 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 and it hangs over then. You get this a lot in, in Norfolk where, where I live, and it just tumbles over there as the, as the tide comes in and out and washes away some of the, 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 the sand that's around it. That'll do that. Right. I still want to use some of that darker, darker colour on well, them hills to sculpture them a bit. Let's, let's grass it here. The light's from the left, don't forget, so I can put some dark, darky bits. On the shadow side of the hill. Like that. Just imagine where the, the light's coming from and the, the grass will appear darker on the shadow side, won't it? And it looks like it's 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 not a lawn, it's it, it's it's just hillside that's that's sculptured by the the light. Let's just put some of this down here. This bank down there. You might think I'm fiddling, but I'm not. I'm. I'm just making sure it looks like it's sculptured. And of course, on top of it, this, this is like a, this is a little bit of front. You can't see it much here, but it has got some grass on the top there. It's a it's a foreground uh, bit of ground which is which is in front of, of that lot there. So I'll put I'll put some grass on the top of here. That's nice. That separates it from that there. And it comes up this side here. Of course it, it tumbles down as I was suggested earlier. We get in there. Dark's on that side. Dark on that edge there. Just keep it going. If I stop talking, I'm not enough, it's just that I'm giving you a chance to sort of see what's going off. Right, that was the touch more in there. And the light from the left, don't forget, so on this side, I'll get some darks there, won't I? Let's sculpture this, this, this overhanging grass there. And that'll bring it further forward as well. Like that. Right now, I think we'll have a go at this here. This here castle. I want to uh, start bring some some dark darker shades into it. That'll that'll give me some some shape. So let's get some of this this burnt umber. What's in the sky? Don't forget a useful colour. Not too strong, just a, a, a weak, weak mix. It's, it's hardly, I'm hardly mixing anything, I'll show you there. It's, 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 it's only a little touch like that, nothing much. If it starts to get too strong, just dip in the water and thin it out a bit. And that's all you've got to do. There's enough there to start sculpturing. 
So remember, the light is from the left, isn't it? So we're going to get some shapes down the sides of these this bit sticking out here and there's a bit sticking out there that's in sunlight, this is in shade that's in sunlight, that's in shade that's in sunlight and a bit down here is in shade and it starts to make the, the, the building starts to look a bit more three-dimensional which is what we're after this one here, that's the front face of that that castle, let's put a strip of dark down there of course you get some darks on, on the these castellations, I think I think they're called castellations, these things sticking up We'll have to, we'll have to not, I can't call them sticky up bits, they're, they're castellations, and that's it, sounds better anyway. They might not be right, but somebody will tell me. That bit's in full sun. That's in full sun. But around the back here, this is in shade. Some of this down here is in, is in shade as well that bit there the various towers and things like that it's quite a complicated castle this but it's beautiful it really is, that's a dark come from there take that down there put a bit of dark down there Right, the castle is across here. We're going to get a dark on that, that side there, aren't we? These castellations again. Why they can't put, not put castellations and make it easier for us painters, I don't know, but, but they, they never think about us. But it's got to be done. If you can look anything like. And this, this end face here is in shade. Right down there. So you can see it's, it's starting to take on a, a bit more of a three-dimensional look to what we, we had to start with. Now these, these are like little circular towers, but this side is going to be in shade, and this side is going to be in shade. This side is in shade here, and the back of that little thing there is in shade, right down there. Now what I can do is, these, these two little tower things, I can I put clean water on here, and just take it, soften it, and take it around the edge, like that. Soften it a little bit. Right, this tower here is dark under there and it's dark on the right hand side again, away from the light, down this side. Bit of dark in there as well. Let's see if we can get it. That, that might help. Make it a bit more interesting. Perhaps some on this one as well, and that. Just give it a little bit more, bit more oomph. better that. It wasn't dark enough. OK, 
keep it moving all these little little twiddly bits here they're a bit of a pain doing doing all the bits but but it does help to make your picture look good so tolerate it that's always a little one here let's just put a dark in this one here and there's a little little line of line of like a parapet under that one there and some castellations just there now we need some windows in here don't we of course but you can't just leave it like that it's Right, rigger, the little rigger, you know that rigger is is one is handy for putting for putting uh, windows in. That's, that's the rigger, that one there, that one. Let's just put some windows in, and I'm going to use that colour vision in, in the sky. This, this, I've got some left, and I'll dot some dot some windows in there. I don't want to see curtains or anything like that at this this at this range. You probably think I think that's where you should shoot the arrows through, you know. Don't know if we're shooting out there, there's only water out there front. And uh, people that, that know know this uh, Bamra Castle, don't don't come on the on the email to me and say you missed some windows out there. I'll, I'll all men them say yes, I have already before they do it. This is the biggest part of the castle. It's, it's three story. This. I don't know whether they do B and B or anything, but they could do. I don't know if the National Trust do that. They might do. Anyway, it's got the windows in it. That, that's, that's sorting that out. And I think we'll have some windows in this gantry thing here, or we'll have another line under there pick some of these darks out on the castellations oh, a couple of windows in here boy I shoot a lot of arrows through these another one here Perhaps one in the tower here. Uh, castellations, a bit of dark on that side there, that side there, that side there, and there. Just here, there, 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 and there. It makes you stand out more. This is a touch of twiddle this, it's, it's nothing, it's not important, it's, I'm just trying to define some more, some more separation. Down that side, that's dark. Oh, that's a doubt on that one. Blimey. I've overcooked that a bit. Let's see if I can lift a bit of that out. Yes. That's two doubt there. There. But 
but we, 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 it's obvious that the light is coming from the from the left, isn't it? So we, we've got it sculptured to, to show us that. Right, I think we can we can try and sculpture some of this uh, this uh, grassy bank here when it comes tumbling down, just on the shadow side. So as it tumbles down the the rock there, we're just showing a bit of a bit of dark. This one is there's one at the front here. Let's put these. Don't forget it's the right hand side because the light's from the left, isn't it? Perhaps on the underside of it there. It gives it a lot more detail. That makes your painting look look better. And when you show it to the neighbours, they say, "Good God, that's that's wonderful." You'll better bore them for hours with your wonderful work, and they'll say to you, "Why, why didn't I start and paint with you?" And what will you say? Because I forgot to tell you. So if you've got some neighbours like that, tell them as well, because they might want to paint as well, and enjoy it. Right, let's, uh, th th this, this, this hillside is a bit bland, it's a bit, a bit wonsy. So let's give it some more, some more colour. Let's have a look, see what we've got. A bit more of that cabin yellow. Not a lot, it doesn't need a lot, it's only a small area. Just strengthen that green a little bit. I'm not that strong. I put too much blue in that. Well, let's see what we've got. Take the shadow side down there like that. Well, that house there, there's one there as well. Taking this down here. So that, that's giving that, that hillside some shape. The sun's catching this side and not, not the side we I've just painted because it's darker there. And probably put a touch of, touch of darky stuff down, down the base of the, the hill there where it, it broaches the sea. But basically, the, 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 the darky bit is, is on the shadow side. Down there. Keep off that one at the back, that's, that's, don't forget that's, that's in the distance, we don't want, we don't want a dark there. Whatever we do. And there again, see, the, the, the greens, I'm trying to make them stronger here than there because that is, is on the angle and further back. Right, I'll, we'll pop these two little houses in. It's uh, it, be a bit of colour in there. We'll use, use the rigger. And I'm going to use some of that uh, burnt sienna. That burnt sienna on these roofs here. It's just the pantile. It'll look nice against that green. Whether you, whether you, you'll see windows at this this range, I don't know, but we'll, we'll see, how go, see how we go. Put a bit of light in that side there. Uh, there's another small one there, just here. Better put that one in.
Ooh, I'm risking putting, putting little windows in it. There might be fiddling here, but we'll, we'll, we'll just suggest it. Just so they don't feel left out. That'll do. Now then, let's get some water in, shall we? Let's sort that out. Oh, this, this rock won't sort it out in the foreground as well. I've got to sort that out because it's uh, it's got want to be light and dark, doesn't it? So the darks they're going to be almost this dark colour here away from the light, of course. See what the colour that is. That's a bit too. So it'll be, it's, it's dark here, so I'm going to put this chisel in here like that. That'll sculpt you that one there, and, and one on this side as well. The rock goes down there. And there's one just here. Always away from the light. And then the with the with the rig I can put perhaps one or two little crevices in there. Like that. So it's it's making the, the, the foreground rock. It's it's closer to us, isn't it? So we stood on it. So it wants to be a bit more interesting or more detailed because you can see it because you stood on the thing. Let's put a few more twiddly bits down here. Should be all right that. Patricia highlighting that this top somewhere where the sun is. Right, that, that's the nearest. There's no grass about on this one. Right, let's have a look at this water now, shall we? Mind you, there's a, there's a touch more, a touch more headland there that I missed. Just a touch there. Right. Put that down. Put that down. I think I'll just, I'll, before I start putting water on there, I'll, I'll just dry this bit off where I've been working on. Right, water. Now, it, it's, it's going to be the same colour or same value as tones as what's in the in the sky, isn't it? So we're going to use the same colours, which is going to make things that much easier. Let's get a brush first and do the job with. Right. So the colours we've got upstairs is the ultramarine and the burnt umber. See what colour we've got with there. I'll just test it. Yeah, that'll do. And I'm just going to sweep this in. Just trying to be careful down that little bit there. Don't worry if you're even white basin, by the way, because it's nice to see little bits of white horses. As it comes closer to you, it gets a bit darker, doesn't it? Or stronger in value. Just get a 
get it round there. Flick it in. Leave it a white. I'm going to this bit. I'm going to dark this a bit. I'm going to put some more more brown into that because it's 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 too nice. It's too even. In fact, it's it's the same value as the back, and I wanted to come forward. So we've got to deal with that. But all it is, it's, it's it's the same colours but stronger, less water. See how we fix with that. Oh, that's a bit darker. Yeah. So this darker colour will be down here. See. Which is bringing this colour towards us. Keep out of the distance, whatever you do. Don't don't go, don't go down there with it. Keep this foreground. That's where you put one or two little bits of dark in there, just a like a flicky wave, if you like. You feel the urge. It's a flicky bit in there. Be careful, then you stand a fiddle. Just nothing that darkness down here a bit. It's, I want it strong down here. Deep in colour, that's right. Lovely. I want, because that will bring it towards me, won't it? Same with this side as well. Soften that because it's got too too sharp a sharp an edge there. Look. Now I think what about uh, while that's drying? What about do you, think, do, you want, do you want to see some little people on the distance there? You they would be little, very, very tiny. If I can put one or two in, if you like. Just to keep the troops happy. Let's just. We're still, some were still on this bank here like this, talking to each other. One around here. Perhaps some down here by the village. Let's have a different colour. Yellow's popular. It's a, they, they, I'm just dodging these around just to. You, you, you can't make them out as figures, but at least you, you know there's, there's somebody there. They're not just uh, one down on the beach. Yeah, how's that? Let's get a different colour in there as well. I put a blue in. Put a blue with these here. Yeah. One with these on this shore here. I'm stuck with this bloke here. And of course, you see, when I'm paying, there's no social distancing on this. It's, it's not COVID-19. It's, it's just 
they're just doing their thing. A bit of a lizard and crimson, that'd be nice, down the beach here. Oh yes, they're, they're having fun down there, you can tell. If I try and put heads on them, I, I think I will lose the plot. But I'll try, <laughs> see what happens. Yeah, you lose the plot, as you said, you lose the plot. Leave it, stop messing about. Let's have a look at the sky now. First, last thing to look at is, is there any dodgy bits in the sky, then we'll put a bird in. Might need a seagull anyway, because it's, it's it's a bit bare without a, without a gull in. So this is this is a gull. Let's get a gull in here. Uh, pick a pick pick a, a darkish bit so I can stand out. One there. Or don't do any more because I've started looking for things to do and it's not, not a good idea that. I'll probably, it's a blackhead call this one. The light's from the left so I'm going to get some darks on that side there. That's it, that'll do. So that folks is Bamburgh Castle on the Northumberland coast. A beautiful spot. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed painting it. I've enjoyed painting it. And if you have, uh, give us a tick or a like or a subscribe and we'll let you know what the next one, next one is. And for now, it's goodbye. Goodbye, folks.